Hello guys, today the center of this video is pineapple. Pineapple has a unique tenderizing agent called bromelain. It can turn a $5 steak basically into a tenderloin. So we're gonna go to the supermarket to grab steaks that we can tenderize with this pineapple. Let's go. This is the perfect cut of steak for this experiment. Okay guys, we are back from the supermarket now and we have our two steaks that we're gonna be using for this experiment. Let's take a closer look. So here is a specific steak we're gonna be using for our experiment. This is a skirt steak and as you can see, it is a choice grade. It is not prime, so we can see if we can tenderize it even more. Okay, on second cut, guys, I'm gonna add a paper towel under this because it's bleeding out a little bit. Now, as you can see, this steak looks a little sad right now. As I said, it's choice grade, so it does not have that good marbling. And as you can see, it's got a lot of fat that we have to trim off. And I'm hoping we can turn this very, very, very tender. So we're just going to take off a little bit of this fat because that's going to be chunky and chewy. Look at that, that's all fat right there, so we want to get rid of all this. We don't want to take off all this fat because flat fat is flavor, but we just want to take off a little bit so the seasonings can go in and kind of penetrate a little bit. Now we have our steak all trimmed up, and we're just going to kind of take a little bit more fat off and now we're going to do the same thing with the other one. This one ready too. Okay guys, now we're gonna get to start on our pineapple slush thing here. Okay, so first we should be able to just twist off this head. And there we go, you see that worked? So we put the head aside, there's nothing we can use that for. Now we're just going to slice this into little slices that will fit into the blender. And if you guys are wondering, yes, we do need to use the skin. The skin has more bromelain than the actual inside. So the skin is going to help a lot more than the actual inside of it. That's why pineapple juice will work, but a real uh, natural pineapple should be better. Now I have a feeling that this is all the pineapple that we're going to need for this experiment today. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to leave this, like, pinkish part on, so I'm just going to chop that right off. Well, that's interesting. It looks like little petals when you took it off. All right, now that I have five slices of pineapple here, I think I'm gonna slice them a little bit more so they can fit into my blender. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> slice two at a half time. Okay, so now we have our pineapple all prepared. Now we're gonna stick it in the blender with a little bit of water to turn it into a nice slush that we can rest our steak in. <clears throat> all right, now we have our blender here and we're gonna add all the pineapple into our cup. 
We have our blender cup right here. Now we're gonna add the pineapple inside. All right guys, I don't wanna overdo the blender, so I think this is as much pineapple as we can fit in there. Okay guys, now we're gonna add a touch of water in here just to turn it into a slurry. Okay, now we are just gonna close up our pineapple and put it into the blender. That's just, that just sounds way too long, guys. Oh, okay, that's in there. All right, now we are gonna blend our little pineapple smoothie here, and then we're gonna tenderize our meat with it. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> so now we have our little pineapple slurry here. Now we're gonna add the steak to this little tubware thing with the um, pineapple on it, and then we're gonna leave it for half an hour just so it can get tender. Now I'm gonna add our mixture to this little container here. I wonder if we should've made more. Okay, now we have our experimental steak here. We're just gonna place it on top. Huh. Not very sure how we're gonna get the rest of the steak covered. Maybe just, oh, that feels so weird. Oh, that feels like gook. Let's just flip it around a few times. Okay, so don't leave this any longer than half an hour, because then if you leave it ha uh, like longer than half an hour, like an hour, it will completely disintegrate. Now we're going to add this oddly small cap on top. Now our pineapple experiment one is ready to go marinate in the fridge for half an hour. So first, like always, we have to dry brine it. Which is basically just a fancy way to say leave salt on it for at least half an hour. Now here at Tyler Little Chef's channel, we like to use... A secret rub. We don't like to use just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That salt, pepper, and garlic powder, that is amazing. No, like, that is amazing, by the way. Um, but we're just going to use my rub because I like it. <laughs> Season with a good amount of that rub. Now we're just going to flip it and get both the other side. We want to season high so our seasoning disperses well. Now we're just going to go in with a tiny bit of this um, spicy seasoning on there. And now this one is ready to dry brine for half an hour. And now while those are marinating, I'm going to get the grill running and it's going to get ready and hot. Okay, now it's been 30 minutes or half an hour and our steaks are done marinating. We're going to take them out now and pat them down real nice. Now we have our control steak right here. You can see there's not much salt on there like because all of it is penetrated deeply into the meat. But there is salt on the fat because the fat does not penetrate. All that's left on that steak is the rub except for on the fat. And here we have our pineapple, which can't really see the steak right now because it's in the pineapple but i mean it smells fine it smells like pineapple <laughs> now we're going to start by patting dry the pineapple one you can you can barely even see the steak in there i got my gloves on for perfection because that looks gross and now we're just gonna get all of this pineapple off because this is nastiness but looking at this the color kind of deteriorated. It looks a little less red, like a little bit oxidation, but it wasn't really exposed to any air at all. So that's a little weird. It feels really tender as I'm wiping this thing down. Okay, now looking at the second side, this one is definitely very decolored. Um, I guess that's because the pineapple maybe drain the life out of it or 
And now for our control, there's not that much to do. We're just gonna bring this to the grill and then we'll put it on. We'll do both at the same time though. Um, so as for, without further ado, let's get cooking. Wow, those steaks look absolutely delicious. But right now, I think I'm gonna give them about a five minute rest and then I'll slice them up so you guys can see. Now, just as these are resting, I want you to, to, I want you to notice, this has a better crust than the pineapple one. That is because, probably because the pineapple one is very wet and the wetness doesn't go away when you pat it dry for some reason. Um, so it's very hard to get a crust on there. Um, as you can see, we accidentally got some grill marks on there, but any crust is better than no crust, right? But this one right here looks absolutely delicious and perfect. Um, just keep that in mind when you're using the pineapple and stuff. Okay, now we're going to slice open, starting with our control. This is absolutely perfect medium rare right there. Now it's time to slice the pineapple one. Pineapple looks good too. Now to test the tenderness. I'm going to slice a slice of both and we'll see which one pulls apart easier. Keeping them the same thickness. Now, starting with the control, let's see how easy this one pulls apart. Not too hard, it's pretty easy. But now it's time for the pineapple one. Just, yeah, no, pineapple is way more tender than that one. Okay, now I've gotten them all sliced up, and we're going to go for the taste test. Okay, guys, it's that time again. We're going to taste test this and tell you which one's better, the pineapple or the regular. Okay, so for today, I think I'm going to start with the control first, so we have a nice center to always go back to. Um, we'll see how it cuts. That's tender. Okay, so let's cut off a little piece there. Let's give it a little shot. Okay, that is amazing. I was seasoning some nice crust there, a little crunchy, charcoal flavor is using this. It's a normal steak. Okay, now I think I'm gonna try the pineapple. We'll see which one's better. Okay, that one cut really easily. So now we'll see how easily the, the cut on the pineapple is. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of falling apart a little bit more, so that was harder structurally to cut. That was a really loud noise. Alright, so... Yep. 
I got a little slice here I'm gonna try. Okay. It's kind of more tender, but there's not that much of a difference. There's a little bit of a sweet flavor there. A little, little bit less of a crust. Gotta say, I'm kind of chewing this one faster than the other one because this one's a little bit more tender. Mm. I kind of enjoy that sweetness flavor a little bit. Okay, so to wrap it all up, which one's better? The control or the pineapple? I know that's all you want to know. Um, the sweetness from the pineapple one is kind of nice. It gives a little bit more of a refreshing taste. But then the control, it's just, it has more flavor than that one. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. Flavor, this one. Tenderness, that one. I'm just going to leave it like that because I can't really choose right now. Um, so... Bye, I guess.